Hi, I'm May. I'm an international management major with an emphasis in marketing, and my minor is in, is in applied mathematics, and therefore my thesis is in the realm of statistics as applied to management. So um, my thesis, I'm an August graduate, so my thesis is in progress, but basically I'm exploring time series analysis and the Box Jenkins method in management. So in management we have the saying that time is money, and that's basically a cute way of saying that every single decision has an opportunity cost. Managers need to know enough information and good information in order to make strategic decisions for the future. And one of the ways that we can predict the future and manage our options is through time series analysis. Basically, time series is any data plotted and recorded over time. And the Box-Jenkins method was proposed by Box and Jenkins in 1983 as a way of looking at past data and using the past data to build a model that can be used to forecast the future. Now, the Box-Jenkins method has already been applied um, heavily in engineering and economics, but in management it has been a little bit understudied basically because a lot of companies just don't want to give out their data and therefore while the method is currently being used in businesses, in corporations, academically it hasn't been very well studied what are the actual limitations of this method in business because academics just don't have access to individual corporations data. So in the Box Jenkins method is also called ARIMA modeling where the AR stands for autoregressive and the MA stands for moving averages which by themselves are individual statistical methods but Box and Jenkins basically combine them as a way to model past data points in order to predict future data within a certain percentage of accuracy. So in my empirical section, I basically look at different managerial applications and exactly how accurately we can forecast in those areas. For example, one area that I'm studying very heavily is in being whether or not we're able to use the Box Jenkins method to forecast future sales. And some of the limitations of the Box Jenkins method is that it requires at least 50 observations and so I want to see if that limitation holds true in management. I'm concentrating on looking at the film industry specifically because daily sales of major movies are actually public data, so I have access to it. And so I look at whether it is possible to use the Box Jenkins method to accurately predict the daily sales, the daily gross sales of movies, so I analyze at least 20 to 25 data sets to see if we can make any generalizations about how this method works in this industry. And so far my conclusion can go two ways. My preliminary analysis shows that we can't make generalizations, which is very interesting because that shows that people who use this method in management have to realize that this method is applied in different ways to every single time to every single data set and therefore you have to understand all the details of the data set in order to make an accurate forecast. Or I may find out that we can make a generalization in this industry about how this model can be used. Thank you.